let's get artsy today everybody hello and welcome back to another video we're gonna do something a little different do you ever find it hard to stay positive some days are harder than others but i think it's really important that we constantly remind ourselves of what there is to appreciate about life and about ourselves please join me in this cool art project we're gonna do today feel free to send me pictures of whatever you guys come up with if you do it with me so i have a blank canvas that I am going to fill up with a bunch of beautiful things. I have here some letters I've gotten over the years, some cool papers, and I just want to make kind of like a vision board, but not really. This is more like of a mood lifter board. I want to put all the stuff and all the people I care about on this blank canvas. I want to put some quotes on it. It's going to be kind of like a collage. So let's get into it. Also, I had three little pieces of paper with the, like the cutest little quotes and I can't find them and I spent like 20 minutes looking for them before this video and I still can't find it. So I'm gonna leave a nice little space in the middle for those things because they were so pretty and they were so cute. I like to have these visual reminders because it helps me to really look at what I'm trying to fight for. It keeps me accountable, it helps me you know achieve my goals because I can see a representation of everybody that I love and it gives me almost encouragement to keep going because a lot of these cards have like you know nice things that people said about me and I want to keep them on paper because I have self-esteem issues so if you have self-esteem issues this might be a really good strategy for you to remind yourself of how awesome you are because who's gonna write something mean on your birthday card I kind of feel bad about ripping the card up but like, what do you do with cards anyways on your birthday? Do you guys keep them and just hoard them? Like, I would rather just rip them and take the part out so that way I can use it for something like this and read it every day. This is gonna be so cute. It's gonna have like a little scrapbook kind of theme going. Like, look at this. This is so pretty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Right, I got my special little cards, things ready. Again, I had other ones, but we have to find those. So now I'm going to start adding, I'm just gonna start gluing them onto these really pretty pieces of paper so that they have backdrops. And doesn't ripping paper feel so good? Like, let's rip some paper up, everyone. If you're feeling angry, just rip it up. It's really nice to have reminders of the role that you play because sometimes we really forget our value. We think that we're invisible and we think that we don't matter and stuff, but we really do matter and you impact the life of everybody you meet in one way or another, even if you don't think you do. Like think about all the people that you interact with on a daily basis. It's inevitable that you impact their life and you know, people impact your life all the time. Why wouldn't you be able to do the same thing for somebody else? That's something I like to tell myself when I forget my importance. I find art to be a really great way to be creative. Art is subjective, you know? Everyone, I feel like, gets focused on making artwork that objectively looks good, but what is objectively looking good? We each have our own standards of beauty, and we each are attracted to different things, so I don't think it's fair that we limit ourselves through our artwork by trying to make things that other people might think are good. Let's make things that we think are nice. And if you find yourself feeling stressed out, art is a really great way to relieve your stress because you can kind of distract yourself from all the things that you have going on and pour yourself into something that you made. Aren't blank canvases such a beautiful representation of unlimited potential? I'll add more to this too over time. Like this is something that you can continuously work on. You don't have to just do it this one time and not touch on it again. Isn't the concept of surrounding yourself with love like beautiful? Because I think we take the people that we love for granted sometimes because we're just so used to seeing them around our lives so often. You have the power to help everyone in this world and change the world. Don't forget that. So use the people you love as motivation to keep going. If you guys wanna see what I have so far. I ended up spending an hour on this, by the way. All right, everyone. Are you ready to see the final product? This is a reminder of my why. It's important to have a why when you're trying to achieve your goals. Without your why, you won't have the motivation to keep going. You need to know why you're doing something in order to do it and follow through. 
So this is my why. This will keep reminding me of why I do the things I do and just keep pushing forward no matter what, no matter what obstacles come my way. I hope that you guys followed along and did your own beautiful art piece. If you did, please show me what you did. I would love to see your collage and tell me about why you chose to do it the way you did. That's all for now, everyone. I hope you guys have a beautiful, wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.